one. Hello everybody, my name is Andrew and I'm here today to talk to you about how muscle mass affects mortality on behalf of the Performance Training Centre of Canberra and the University of Canberra. To start with, I'm going to talk about sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is defined as a loss of skeletal muscle mass and strength with age and it happens to everybody. It starts fairly early on at the age of 25 and from that point onwards you will lose 0.5 to 1% of your muscle mass per year leading to a decrease in maximal voluntary contractile strength on average between 20 to 40 percent. Not only that, there is a decrease in neuromuscular function that occurs that when combined with a lowered muscle mass causes a loss of strength experienced. Now why is this strength loss a problem? Simply put, you use your muscles for everything from raising food to your mouth to getting out of a chair to even being able to stand unassisted. Once our ability to do these things becomes compromised, our overall quality of life quickly diminishes. We may have to rely on others to feed us, dress us, and help us do the most simple of tasks. However, the biggest problem with muscle loss is that it can lead to falls. One third of those over the age of 65 will fall each year. At 80%, this increases, and around half will experience a fall annually. Falls are a major worry, as even ground level falls can cause multi-system injuries to the elderly and increase mortality. In fact, there is a 33% mortality rate of hospital admission after a fall, and within a year, of release for those that go on to survive, there is a 44.6% readmission rate. For those who do have to go to a specialist nursing facility after a fall, there is a 48% mortality rate within the next 28 months. Now, it is strongly believed that resistance training is the best way to combat sarcopenia. It has been found that strength training leads to a lowered incident rate of falls, with regimes designed to improve on spinal mobility, back extensor strength, and leg strength, shown to be incredibly beneficial. Not only that, it has been found that increased strength overall leads to decreased mortality rates, with those found in the lowest third for muscular strength having a 50% chance higher, higher chance of death. Starting resistance training early is important to maintain your quality of life in old age. As you can see from the chart here, by continuing resistance training throughout the lifetime, you can minimise loss in strength and avoid the disability threshold. However, this doesn't mean that there is no hope for those who haven't trained their whole lives as improvements in strength are found to still occur well into old age. After the onset of resistance training, participants find increases in their physical abilities allowed for by increases in neuromuscular control, protein synthesis and hormone levels, all of which when combined allow for the building of muscle mass. Now if you're interested in learning more or starting your own resistance training routine, regardless of your age, come and talk to us here at the Performance Training Centre of Canberra and we will be happy to help you improve your quality of life now and for the future. Thank you.